So what's up guys, happy MCO to everyone, welcome to the online tutorial of photogrammetry. So today's video is all about processing to create a 3D map. So let's get started. So as you can see, I already logged in my email into the fix 4 d account. So there's two options here, in either you create a new project or open an existing project. So in our case, we just create a new project. So for this video, we create, I will name it the, this project as 3D map. So I already browse my selected folder as a default folder. So take the folder that you wanted as a default project location. So that all the save data of the output or result from this processing will be saved in this type of folder. So project type in your project and just click next. Oh sorry. In this case, I just really went. So select image. You must at least add three images from JPEG or TIFF if you want to continue the processing. So as our case, we processing a three D map. Therefore, you must add every images. I'll just select all. And just click next after you add the image. So this is the image properties. So when all the image was selected and added, the information will be loaded automatically. As you can see here, the correct system it will be WGS84 because our image geolocation coordinate system are getting from the GPS from the inbuilt on UAV. So that's why our image is WGS84 due to the GPS reading. So just click next. So this is the processing option template. So on the left side here, you have six processing template, which are 3D maps, 3D models, agriculture, the same three template, but with rapid processing and low resolution. So if you do not know what are the processing template you just click on the template and on the right side here we will show what type of input you need that you need and what what is the output after all the processing are finished so in our case I choose 3d map so the input image must be every images and the output you can get auto mosaic digital surface model DSM 3d mesh Endpoint cloud. So just click next. This is the cellular output coordinate system. So from this section, the option also loaded automatically. But if you want to convert to another coordinate system, just just choose non coordinate system. And just type what type of coordinate system that you wanted. But in my case, I just choose auto detect, which is WGS84. Just click finish and so you can see the six red dots here. This is uh, all the geolocated image that you added earlier. So the image will be displayed on the on your study area due to the coordinate of on the image. So this is the map view. Supposedly on the background, it will be a Google Map um, 
Google Map display. But in my case, uh, due to the internet connection are very poor, so the Google Map on the background are uh, lo loading very slow. So it's okay, it doesn't affect all the processing. So this is uh, the image. So on the below, on the window, you can see the three main processing in creating the 3D map. So in order to carry out the processing, you have two options. Is either you create, you process it one by one. For example, you take the first step, which is initial processing, and after the first step is finished, until the first step and take the second step which is point cloud and mesh and you do the same on the step 3 and you get all and you get the result but if you want to be more easier you just click all the step and just start the processing but before that before you start processing click on the option and make sure that all your processing are customized and following what you are demanded. So point is they will be optimal. You can choose high point density, but it will cost you very slow processing rate. So I choose low in for your for your assignment you must create you must choose high but in this video i choose low for get a fast result that's all so this five point cloud you post last and las and laz okay that's all as for the step three okay no need to put anything just sorry just stick LAS and LAZ if you want to go to select the SHP which is shape file. If you counter base, I create as five meter elevation interval. If you want, if you want to do ten, so I just leave it to ten meter. If you want to do twenty meter interval or, or quantity, just just type twenty. But I leave it to ten. Resolution okay, in this calculator, no need to change anything. This is resources, which means this is the maximum resource available processing, which is 8 gig RAM CPU chip. For if you have better hardware, then the processing will be fast. And they just click okay. So, after all, the settings are set up. And just click start okay so I'll be back to you when the, all the processing are done okay but guys we are back so I already finished all the processing all the three process three step of processing so if you notice every time you finish all the step the quality report will be generated and automatically show on your screen right so on the quality report we show all the summary quality checking preview of pre output calibration detail and etc you can see from the report you can you can you can read by yourself so it will be as you, as i said it will automatically display as the each step of processing are finish so this is the preview of your result after all the processing are complete so just so there you are all steps are finished so now you can go to your folder that you have saved the default for the choose so so, 
so all your data will be you can see from here so that's all for today processing video it will do the 3d map so we'll meet again in the next uh, video which is how to process a 3d model so happy trying thank you